In the 2012 Political Picture Dictionary, next to the word chump, C-H-U-M-P, will be a picture of a black man pulling the lever for the Democrats on Election Day. Now let me give you another picture. The picture I'm going to paint now comes from an autobiography of a, a cop, 20 years on the force, who got transferred down to narco for the first time in his career. New partner takes him down to this drug neighborhood where uh, inner city kind of drug deals going on where there's like a main man for that section of the of the turf who just stands there without a gun, without a drugs, and he kind of directs all the dealing that goes on. So the uh, new guy is introduced to the main man by the by the cop who's been working that that narco beat, and the main man says to him, "Oh, this is your first time down in the hood, huh? Well, I'll show you something. Hang loose." Anyway, the cops are standing there talking, and the new cop looks up, and he sees the guy give him a look and walk away. And behind him is a young girl in hooker's clothes, you know, a teenager. I mean, she's obviously shaking from withdrawal. And there's a dog there, and she gets on her knees and gives oral sexual service to that dog. That's what the Democrats have given to the African-American in the inner city. And isn't Hollywood proud of it? In 1965, when the Equal Rights Amendment was passed, it was people like Charlton Heston, who went on to become president of the NRA, a conservative, who was walking with Martin Luther King. So in 1965, the liberal left didn't even exist. But as soon as they came in, Look at the torment and torture they've offered their black brethren. Six percent single family births in 1965 to the African American community. Only six percent of the births were to single females. After 25 years of liberal compassion, well, that figure turned around on its head to where it's in parts of Chicago was 90 percent single mothers on welfare to have children. And I stress the welfare. If you want to be a single parent, you've got the finances and you've got the family support and, and you've got your ducks in a row, mazal tov, God bless you, fantastic. But if you're spreading your legs to get pregnant because you're 14 years old and you think the idea of your own apartment and a welfare check is the closest thing to nirvana you'll ever get, you're being screwed by your friends, the liberal Democrats. The American-style communists came in in late 60s. They had hair on their chest, Jane Fonda and everybody. They had just helped kill three million Asians. They got the United States to pull out of Vietnam and three million Asians lost their lives to communist slaughter. And these were the communists who slaughtered them are the, the, the heroes of the Clintons and Gores and Careys. So they thought, what can we do to just get our fangs, our claws into the United States? And they had the Hollywood movies and the newspapers. Like hyenas and wild dogs, they circled the herds that they could feed on. And who was the weakest link that they could chip away at in the American fabric? female African-American children, 13 years old, 15 years old, 17 years old. Psst, little girl, come here. I want to talk to you. How would you like your own apartment? <gasps> Hundreds of dollars every month. <gasps> Can eat any food you want. Just give, give people these tickets, these food stamps. You wake up in the morning and watch television instead of having to go to school. Earned income credit. Thousands of dollars for earned, earned income, income credit. credit. Thousands, Thousands of, of dollars for every child you can push out once a year, just like Santa Claus. Just like Santa Claus. Television, television instead, instead of having, having to go to school. school. Watch the shows all day, eating ice cream, having milk and cookies. Not have to listen to mama. You know, Real woman, she have a child. You know, you know real, real woman, woman, she, she have, have a child. child. That's the message they brought. 
there were some people who tried to look out for the African American. They were called conservatives. They lost their jobs for standing up and saying the truth. I don't want my 14-year-old daughter to say, hey, mom and dad, screw you. I'm going off to have a welfare apartment or I'm going to live on my own because I'm pregnant. I don't want that happening to my kid. I don't want it to happen to anybody's kid because children should be protected from making decisions about their sexuality. We have statutory rape laws. But who was there to protect them from the temptations offered by the liberal Democrats? Democratic Senator Patrick Moynihan spoke of how they were creating a new race of people while he became rich and powerful doing it. Now, Spike Lee once had a movie, he had two brothers. One was a heroin dealer, the other's trying to make it straight. And of course, Spike gave the guy who was trying to make it straight quite a few extra uh, barriers that don't exist. But I will, I'm an ex-heroin addict, I'll admit that there are barriers to potential that exist in the inner city that don't exist anywhere else. I'll grant you that. Well, in Spike Lee's movie, the guy who's trying to make it, is standing out in the, the street, all the horrible goings on of the ghetto are happening in front of him, and he says, something's wrong here, and I don't know what it is. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is, Spike. You got the wrong friends. They've stolen your father. Do you know what happens the very first time you lift up a food stamp or a coupon that freebie you realize at that moment that you'd rather be anywhere else the shame is overwhelming as you suddenly realize you're outside a system that you didn't even know existed this system's been in existence since adam and eve effort plus success equals economic gain. This is true even in the criminal world. Effort plus success equals economic gain. The Maasai warrior, whose a tribe spread all the way across many countries of Africa, was a feared and respected man well up into the advent of automatic weapons. Why? If you were born into the Maasai tribe, you weren't a warrior. You were, let's say, a boy. You had to uh, work on the crops and take care of your father's uh, herds. Their bono was time, having absorbed character traits and watched your father, you left your people with a knapsack and your spear, and you went out to kill your own lion. And if you did, then you became a warrior. They've stolen that from you. and told you you're a victim of racist whitey. The ultimate irony is shouted out at a black political rally. Give us our self-respect, screams one pitiful survivor of Senator Moynihan's new race of people. A people intentionally mutated and born losing with the blessings of Streisand, Hillary, and Oprah. A world turned upside down by giving financial power to the least motivated in the ethnic group. A black, inexperienced, pregnant teen is the least able to translate her character traits as a parent into being something beneficial for her offspring. Books were written tracking the progress, the intelligence test, the school uh, grading that went on ever since single mothers began to dominate with free Head Start programs that the mothers are too lazy to even come down out of the welfare apartments and participate with their children in. When they've stolen the father, they've stolen something spiritual from you. The following comes from Harry Stack Sullivan concerning the development of mental illness in general in the family. Instead of an attitude towards the father resembling adult awe or fear or respect or reverence, there grows an attitude of more or less concealed jealousy and hatred. 
even more destructive is the situation in which the woman is the boss. In such homes, any possible good which might derive from a benign matriarchy is utterly swamped in the child's reaction to the woman's effort to be a man, yet conform to society, and the father's effort to protect his self-esteem. This matter of wretched adjustment grows more and more important as we try to understand the coming of subsequent disaster to the offspring. Well, if racist whitey hates you because your skin color is different, how come the Asians are a success in immigration, came here legally, different skin color, different voice, different facial characteristics, different cultural background? I don't see the Asians burning down their uh, neighborhoods. I haven't heard that. Our courts are not filled with people going, I got fired because I was Asian. No one would sell me a house because I'm Asian. You don't hear that. I'll tell you something else now. Let me get right down to the real nitty gritty. People coming here from South Africa, Ethiopia, Somalia, Egypt. When these people come to the United States, they, they, they don't know the difference in some cases between the, the appliances that are in the kitchen and the appliances that are in the bathroom. But guess what? They're working two jobs, going to school at night, and when they get a job where you only work 40 hours a week, that's like part-time to these guys. They're getting off welfare like that compared to the African-American. The Asian gets off welfare like that. With the exception of the Islamic presence on welfare, the Africans are eating the lunch of the African Americans. Well, how come we white racist whitey should be destroying them as quickly as he is uh, the African Americans? But he's not, because he's not there to destroy anybody. He's busy trying to make his own living. You've been fed this lie. And those in the media who think a real black man is someone who substitutes hostility for masculinity, those who are in power, especially the black Democrats in power, have gotten into power climbing to power on the backs of your broken, drug-addicted, incarcerated lives. They've taken 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds who were the least motivated. This is who you get when you go into the ghetto and you say, I've got money for whoever will spread their legs. You get the least motivated, the weakest girls. And so instead of the Maasai warrior getting the economic gain, you give the gain to the least motivated in the society. The mothers give birth, and when the, the, child, the females they give birth to ape their mother, like all females do, and she, she goes out and, and finds a man who's also irresponsible and not stay-at-home provider. But the boys, they look around, and there's no one to guide them how to get along in a school that's becoming insane, that is insane. It, they, who's to guide them in life? Because the Democrats have stolen your father and replaced it with a character trait that says you're a victim. Mm -hmm.